So when we work with files on a computer, we normally work by directories. We know what a file is, and we know what a folder is, and we know what the difference between the two. A folder is a simple folder or area where you can store other files. And it goes on and on and on. In this case, I have a file called Spotify, and I have a few other folders inside that store even more files. Now, in real terms, these are called directories, and directories are literally areas, um, or different rooms. You can call them different rooms where you can store information. I have a little metaphor, and I'll kind of show you how it works. So right now, I'm in the very, very beginning of my hard drive, the root directory, um, notified by this little slash here. And I'm going to go ahead and use a command called cd, or change directory. I'm going to change it straight to the root directory. <coughs> So right now, I'm currently in the root directory. It doesn't look any different. You notice that this little squiggly now turned to this slash. And I'll show you, and I'll explain why this little squiggly is there. This is just going to be for that user account. It automatically puts you in the home folder. Um, so I'm going to go ahead um, with this slash here. I can go ahead and put in ls. That's for list the directory, ls. And now we see we have bin and that's blue, it's a folder, or a directory. ETC, it's blue, it's a directory, lib, the directory, opt, the directory, and so on. And you'll notice, these are very, very similar to what we have over here. There's bin, there's ETC, and there's lib, and all of them. And this goes from top to bottom, so bin, boot, cd-rom, dev. Bin, boot, cd-rom, dev. Now, when we go into, let's say, bin, what we want to do is cd, and then write the word out, B-I-N. You can also put or press the tab button to finish it off for you. And I'll show you how that works too. It's pretty cool and easy to work with. So right now, if I press LS, there it is. All of these look like files. And there's bash, B unzip, busybox. Bash, B unzip, busybox. Now how this works, and I'll show you with the little graphics. Let's see if I have anything. Why not? These are like rooms, and when I say rooms, I would say, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the main directory, and I'll show you how it kind of works out. You can It's hard to see it visually um, until I actually show it out for you. So, here we are, and let's consider we are right now in the root directory, and we're going to call that slash. Let me zoom in a little bit. So inside the root directory, we have bin, boot, cd, rom. And we have a lot more, but just to save the space, I'm just going to make a few. So we're going to have bin up here. Boot. Ignore that all these um, squares aren't actually size specific. All right, so we have these two directories. Of course, the each or this one room, the main room, is pointing to each one of these directories, and we can literally cd into either of these. And what's going to happen is we're going to change rooms. Consider this arrow the doorway. Now inside here in the roots, we also have files like vm linus. I'll go ahead and add that in there. And this room is, or this file is only available in this room. And similarly, in bin, we have a file called bash. And boot, we have some file called memtest. And, oh, well, look at that boot. Let's go, oh, there we are, that's better. And in CD-ROM, we have a file of nothing. Because right now, we actually have a CD-ROM in here. The CD-ROM area is going to be where you mount your CD drive. Um, whatever CD is, it's going to mount as a regular folder. So this is kind of how it works out. This is what it looks like. The VM Linus is only available in the slash directory. Bash is only available in the bin directory. And Mentest only in the boot directory. If we want to access any of these files, we have to either directly point to that room so if I want to go to bash, I have to say 
All right, first we got to start with the root directory, then we have to go into the bin directory, or room, and then we can call bash. These slashes represent different levels. The first one is, of course, the root. The second part is going to be the bin, and because the bin is a folder, the slash goes right after it. And then bash is going to be the very end. There is no slash in the end because bash is a simple file. So easily put, this is going to call out the bash system, but there's a certain way you have to actually call it. It's not going to work just like that. But that's how you would refer to that file. And let's go ahead and I'll show you a quick example on my desktop. So right now it's empty. I'm going to go ahead and make a directory. I'm going to make mkdir and I'm going to make the file or directory called test. There it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and cd in test and right now I'm in this directory or this room inside here. Now what I can do is I can make files, um, simply touch, um, name it something, .txt, and if I open up the room in here, we'll see text.txt is available to us. Now, because I'm working in this directory, I can actually make files in other directories as well. I can go tech, touch text.txt, but if I make this file slash, and you have to know the whole area, but I'll go ahead, oh yeah, I'll have to put in the exact location of that room. So it's going to be slash users, ignore that up there, or home, Chris, desktop. So right now I'm in the home, in the Chris, and then in the desktop folder. And I just hit the enter button, and there it is, directly here. This is the direct way you can go. And there are shortcuts for this, so I'll show you in the next video. So that's kind of how it works. It's not too complicated, not too hard to work with. Um, CD and a few others are going to be one of the basic commands you're going to be using. One thing to also know, when you list or when you put the ls button, it shows you what's in the current directory. And you can move this to any directory that you want. So let's go again, home, Chris, desktop. That's where I was before. If I press the up arrow, it'll call the last command I just did. So I can go to Chris and see what's in here. And then I can go to home and see what's in here. And then if I want to, I can go to ls and see what's in there. And that's kind of how it works out. It's a little bit hard to visualize, but once you get the idea, it's a linear motion. You go from the very beginning to the very uh, product or end of where you want to go. And that's kind of how that works out. And one thing to know also, root. Like I mentioned before, root is simply the slash. If I cd into slash, I'm in the exact beginning of the whole computer. And all there are in here are folders and a few small files that determine the system how it works. So CD-ROMs are going to be in here, the boot information, the startup stuff on how the computer starts up is going to be in here, um, anything mounted is going to be in here, it's so like USBs and stuff like that, you have a temporary file as well, TMP right here, um, user information like um, icons and stuff in here, and it just kind of organizes itself based on this. The root directory, there's two terms for root, one is a directory, which is where I am right now, the very beginning. And then the user privilege of being roots. And I'll actually mention that later on. But for now, I kind of leave it at that and kind of uh, get you going to the next video. So that's all you really need to know about how to manage directories.